everyone, I'm Natalie Kunzman, MD, and today I thought on this festive occasion, we should talk about some of the health benefits of mistletoe. And yes, indeed, there are health benefits of mistletoe. So obviously we come to learn about mistletoe around the holiday season, where we initially thought it was a symbol of fertility. And obviously we hang it above somebody that we love and it implies that we need to give them a kiss but some of the origins of mistletoe are rooted back in the nordic folklore where it was thought to have been made into a spear and killed the god of light and in honor of his memory his mother used that mistletoe as a symbol of love and was never going to be used for anything negative in the future, with the berries being her tears uh, emanating from the time that her son died. Now, obviously, I'm a little bit more akin to the German variation, and it even has some of its origins back to the Druids and European Christmas celebrations and the actual derivation of the word mistletoe comes from Germany with mist meaning dung and tongue meaning branch so mist tongue and that actually literally refers to poop on a stick because the way mistletoe is spread uh, was thought to be coming from seeds and bird droppings. Now, there are 1,500 different species of mistletoe, and it is a saprophytic, or in other words, somewhat of a parasitic plant that finds itself on many other plants and sometimes can actually kill its host. So it was always thought to be poisonous only, and no real benefits. However, let's flash forward to today, modern science, and we have discovered that mistletoe is a dramatic anti-inflammatory, and because of its anti-inflammatory effects, it has a lot of anti-cancer benefits. And we think that some of its mechanism of action will induce macrophage cytotoxicity. It can stimulate an immune cell phagocytosis uh, or apoptosis, which will be killing a cell that is damaged. And it can actually increase TNF-alpha, interleukin-1, interleukin-2, interleukin-6, and those are cytokines that will get secreted in the whole cascade of events in the inflammatory response. So we are using mistletoe adjunctively, especially those who do holistic cancer management. The German speaking country, so obviously Germany, probably has most of the research and most of the experience with mistletoe and in the states now we have extracted some of their five-year follow-ups especially with breast cancer patients prostate patients melanoma patients and are using it also adjunctively in some of the aggressive cancer centers such as md anderson or private boutique extensions adjunctively in cancer management. So obviously we need to know that raw mistletoe has a toxic constituents and we would need to understand that this needs to be in a monitored situation. So getting down to the types of cancers that are used and how the mistletoe will have its benefits, we have found that some of the high-risk melanoma patients and with lymph node involvement have had some containment of their tumor burden, but also it will 
stimulate high fevers and chills and get our own immune system involved in containing the tumor, creating a hostile environment for the tumor, and in some regard, and in some cases, can actually shrink the tumor. So a lot of cancer management in our future revolves around the fact that maybe we still have cancer cells, maybe we still have tumors, but we can live with it as a chronic illness, even if we can't potentially make a cure and 100% resolution of the tumor. So we have noticed that mistletoe can decrease cancer related fatigue. It can decrease some of the pain and symptoms associated with bony metastases. We notice that those who use chemotherapy adjunctively can tolerate their chemotherapy better. If someone has carcinomatosis of the lungs, there is less dyspnea or less shortness of breath related to it. And again, it can cause some stabilization of the tumors, maybe not full eradication, but in that regard, that may be increasing some survival and increasing some quality of life in those people with, that are, are high risk with their tumor burdens. There are so many other things we could talk about regarding mistletoe, but I wanted to bring that up this holiday season. In Germany, we have several of the um, mistletoe extracts that are in brand or trade names such as Eurixor, Helixor, Isoril, Isozosin, Leuctinol, and this is part and parcel to your cancer management in addition to and not instead of. So again, Natalie Kunzman, MD. Mistletoe used in cancer management and inflammatory conditions. Happy holidays to you all and until we meet again, be well.